Hello everyone and welcome to Shadow Judgment. Fire signs! You're up. I already tried to read for you and then like something happened and then I had to like cut it off. So I'm starting over again. Aries, you're up first, but first of all, let's look and see what cards you is. Okay, you got like two. Um, someone's keeping their feelings in check! But what keeps them secure? Let me write this down. Q, cup, and four. I'm just gonna write four coins, but it's whatever. That's what your shadow is now, I guess. After you will be air. For anybody who's new to my channel, Shadow of Judgment, we go into the full circle. What's outside the circle? All four corners. Boop your nose to find out what's going on on the subconscious, what's happening in the background, things you might not know, influences that might be being channeled in for or against your favor for this week. And it'll be for the week of the 23rd to the 30th of August of this current year, right? Fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. This is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, right? If you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are in the description box below. The first reading is on the house. Everything else comes with a price, of course, and I am more than happy to take a donation or two. Thank you very kindly in advance. Aries! You have strength and the three of wands reverse. You're not waiting for something, but you're definitely got your um, pep on the step. Be like, I got a ferocious beast inside of me, but I will not release it for I am a god among gods or some shit like that, right? Uh, you are looking at your options really well because what you're closing out just left you feeling left out in the cold and you're done with that shit. You're cutting off that energy. You're holding yourself to some sort of standards in order to move forward with your options. I like this, Aries. Look at you go. This is much better. I originally read for you guys, but then I had to stop it, like I said, for some uh, personal shit, right? But I like this read so far. We got the Empress. You could be a female Aries, Taurus, or Libra, that Venetian energy, that power of seduction, beauty. If you will very comfortable where you're sitting at right okay what the fuck actually you you're keeping your temperance keeping your patience keeping yourself in check understanding that something won't start hmm trying to move forward from a completion of business of sorts ten of pentacles you are a ripe young empress and you are recognizing what is and is not incorrect. Aries, your week's actually not that bad, really. You're cutting off some energy that's left you feeling left out in the cold. You feel like you want to come back in. You've been, well, no, you don't feel like it now, but you have felt like you um want to come back in from the cold, but now you're shutting off that energy because it's just, it doesn't serve you as much as you once were believed to, right? I'm gonna light a little incense because I forgot to do that earlier because I'm a nutcase. Anyway, um, you just decided this, I feel like, too. It's like you realize in the end that you're gonna become the Empress, so now you're taking the first steps to become your inner self. You know, it's just like I'm gonna practice with my bird to look all pretty and shit right meanwhile like you are looking over your options on how to move forward from like something that you've already come to complete or whatever right um this is a close of business if you will like business was booming enough to where you could uh retire early you're the old fat guy over here looking over your family being like that little kid better not touch my dog's tail i'm beating him with my cane and shit those are two thousand dollar dogs a piece or whatever Right? Like, you're definitely established, and now you're ready to move on to the next adventure. Because this one's already completed. However, you're realizing that there's something here that's not going to begin because there's some injustice involved or something did not work as planned with the Justice card. Could be Libra, right? Right. It's like a 
recognizing some shit, if you will. But that's yours, Aries. Yours is pretty sound, though. Like, it seems like you're going to have a good week. Like, you're it's starting to come to figure things out or whatever. Did I tell you guys this is for the 23rd to the 30th? I'm pretty sure I did, but if not, this is what it's for. So, just to be sure. Also, crosswatch your switch where you need to. Vice versa for the main sign that I'm reading for. Right now, the main sign is Leo. So, Leo, let's see what's going on for your week. Yay. Anyway, we have... Boop, boop. Two pages. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's some pretty immature energy. Someone's snooping. Someone wants to give a deliver. La, 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 la. Someone's snooping. Someone wants to give their love out because there doesn't seem to be a connection between these two signs. There is water. There is air. There is Sagittarius so far on the board. This person might want to make an offer to you and this air sign is just saying, I don't know, man, I, I, I don't know. There could be a lot of, like, bitterness in between it, too. Something wasn't manifested correctly. Mm. Mm. Um, there might be some truth and laid in all of this. Let's see, there's one more. So these cards just want to run out of the way and do whatever, uh, And injustice for you as well, Leo. Let's look over your cards real quick. Right, right. All right, Leo's out there. There could be his water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, that wants to offer their cup to you. Be like, hey, here's this. And I think they're expecting a huge ass offer back. But that doesn't work. And instead, someone sees through their shit and they walk away from this person who tried playing games who still doesn't realize that someone found them out. So this causes a separation of sorts, and this King of Wands is pretty bitter about it. It could be you, Leo, most likely, of course. And this causes you some indecision because you know the, like, possibly not accepting what this, this shitty-ass, minuscule, undeserving cup they're offering you. You know, there's a possibility that you're worried that it might be bad karma not to take it. It might not be justified to uh, ignore that cup or whatever. However, we got a spy up here with the uh, page of swords, right? And this person who's spying wants to know what they want now because they're desperate for the truth. The queen of wands is reversed. She's very impatient and she wants to know what kind of decision she needs to make and what the right thing to do is because she doesn't want to deal the in with the injustice of the situation. What's this person want from you with the five of swords right here? What's their intentions before they watch you walk away from the situation. No rest. No new... Okay, so they're not even trying to start something new. Okay, it, it's kind of like they can't... They don't feel like... Think of it as a narcissist, as people on the YouTube interwebs would say, right? They don't have any supply. And it feels like they don't have the ability to start something new relationship-wise. It's like they don't have anybody else to start something new with. So that's probably why they come to you, Leo. But if they do come to you, it's like you'll see right through them. Or this could be you, Leo, doing this to somebody else and they see right through you. And see what it is you're doing or trying to get from them, if you will. Right? But that's your shadow for the week. <clears throat> Excuse me. That sounded disgusting. Sagittarius, you're up next. You are my beautiful rising sign, mind you. It's probably why I'm so mouthy, but it's whatever. Like, I don't care. Most people think I'm rude anyway. <laughs> but it's whatever. Sag, ew. Okay, you're tr you might be trying to avoid the tower this week. That was pretty quick. By wasting a bunch of time. Wasting valuable time, not transforming, not changing, any of that shit, right? It's just like, eh, hey, you, know, you know what? That's not even necessary. Uh, mainly because the door is closed. Uh, might have been dealing with an emperor reverse, and you feel like just giving up, and that's why you're not trying to do anything right at the moment. Mmm. The door is closed on the lovers. Both cards represent Gemini. 
So you could definitely be dealing with a Gemini, a Sagittarius, or have it in your charts, or your person could have it in their charts. Um, however you want to look at it, really, it's up to you. It's your adventure. You turn whatever page you want to turn. Just make sure you eat the ice cream and lick on the side of the store before you leave, please. It's got coupons. Ooh. Um, avoiding that tower with this emperor was apparently the right thing to do. Um, that was, that was a smart thing to do. Hmm. Give up something with the queen of pentacles. Validate and recognize your own emotions and feelings because some true secrets came out that someone was ignoring some actual information, intuition, high rule, the priestess. Um, could be, I mean, both of these could seriously be Pisces. In fact, all three could be Pisces, honestly. Also Cancer, of course, but, eh, I feel like this is more like Pisces or at least Gemini or something like that. Like, somebody avoided a tower with a fucking control freak, and that was the right thing to do because it's almost like there was a, uh, revelation of secrets or some shit, if you will, right? Like, this door was closed when it came to this lover situation, and somebody needed to validate their own emotions when it came to what it was they did or did not know or what wasn't being revealed to them with the high priestess somebody was wasting their time and decided to give up on a queen of pentacles taurus capricorn virgo most likely capricorn right like she was too busy focused on her own pentacle to pay attention that somebody like i guess wanted her or some shit or she was necessary or she was the one wasting time because i almost feel like she was the one doing it but whatever Let's see. What's up with this High Priestess Reverse? Oh, uh, well, no information was being given out. No new clarity. Nobody was having their minds changed when it came to making a decision. So I feel like Sagittarius and or a Leo came to the decision. It could also be Aries, but I feel like someone definitely was just like, nah. Nah, this ain't it, chief. Nah, 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 nah. But that is the reading for the week for you, Sagittarius, as well as the rest of the other fire signs. Very, very interesting. So if you guys enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. It's all up to you, but I will definitely enjoy. You guys take it easy. Love you all. Bye-bye.